For a few hours this morning, they stopped the traffic. This was dubbed the Women's March. Venezuela's women say they are bearing much of this nation's pain. I have a son who's 17 years old. I want my child to leave the country. I don't want him here. I'm afraid every time he goes out, I can't take it anymore. I am here for my children, for all those brave women that are helping in the struggle. We are tired of this. We want freedom. These demonstrations are not just for a Venezuelan audience. They are in part aimed at raising the profile of this country's beleaguered opposition internationally. The group's most prominent spokeswoman is Liliane Tinturi. The inter international community are with us. We travel around the world for two years and eight months. This is a dictatorship. In fact, the international community remains divided in its approach to Venezuela. Some countries, including the new governments in Brazil and Argentina, are cautioning Venezuela's government from ignoring its domestic critics. Others, many of which were represented at a recent developing world summit hosted by Venezuela, have offered near unconditional support to President Maduro. The latest dispute here involves a recall referendum designed to cut short Maduro's six-year term of office. The procedure is written into the Venezuelan constitution. But on Thursday, the country's electoral authority abruptly suspended the process, citing alleged irregularities by the opposition. One thing we've been hearing from many people attending this opposition rally is that they feel the government has now crossed the line. The government's more radical opponents believe this will be the start of something much bigger. Here, as you can see, Venezuelan people, we are united in the streets and clear where we are going. We are going to have a transition to democracy in Venezuela this year. Caracas quiere paz. The target of much of the opposition anger, meanwhile, remains out of the country. Nicolas Maduro says an urgent priority for the benefit of all Venezuelans is his effort to raise the global price of oil. To that end, he and his entourage are currently in Iran. Back in Caracas, opposition supporters began to disperse. They will be back, they say, next Wednesday in far bigger numbers. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Caracas.